fast life to fast living. Fast living. They see the ambition, they know I'm past driven. <laughs> We are getting to the end and I have um, the last questions and I call it um, the four questions tournament. Mm -hmm. So are you ready for that? It should be the two questions tournament because uh, there's only a, two hills in our four hills. Uh, All right. But I, 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 I hear... Uh, we're I think we're I, optimistic. There'll be a four, four hills. Uh, but is someday. next year going to happen? A know. four hills tournament for the ladies or... Maybe. Maybe I don't know. Anything it's not. About it's that. not official yet. Not official. Okay. I don't think it's official. So now it's only two. It's only two. But, but I'm we'll optimistic, and, and we are keeping those four questions then. Yeah, and they're on normal hills, so. Yeah. Well, well, you will get there. <laughs> I, I, I believe strongly that you will get there, because, yeah, uh, yeah they, they need to be a bit open-minded mm -hmm. in my, in yes. my opinion. All right. First question: What was your toughest, toughest moment in sport? There's many. Um, I think toughest moment right off the bat, the first thing that comes to my mind is knee injury, like mm -hmm. blowing off. What was knee. it exactly? Uh, ACL? ACL, LCL, yeah. meniscus surgery. Bleh. Yeah. Uh, but that feels like so. It feels like a long, a long time. It happened in 2019, but if that yeah. feels like a yeah. long time away. But anyways, that was that's like physically the first thing that comes to mind for me. Mm -hmm. I don't. I like to say that's like my biggest struggle, but I don't actually think that that was. I think it was maybe. I think what we were talking about earlier with the confidence and the actual mental training was the biggest yeah. obstacle that I had to yeah. overcome. Yeah, it was like a. That was like a like a ro long road, a long path yeah. to to get there. Yeah. And the knees, it's it's also long, but it's maybe yeah. one one and a half year if yeah. it's if it's not so good. And I knew like okay, the knee. I'm going to get it better. I'm going to be jumping again. Exactly. But it's like yeah. if I can't get my head in line, then I'm never going to achieve my goals. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So. Physically, uh, the knee. Yeah. But really, the, it was the mental challenges. Okay. Yeah. Good. Second question. Um, what are your goals for the future? Goals for the future. Um, my goal was an Olympic medal, and I did that. So a little early. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, definitely, I, I like podiums. The, the dream goal would be the overall, to win the overall. Yep. Um, nice. if there's a four hills tournament, that'd be cool too. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't want to like, will probably develop as well somehow. Yeah. I, I don't want to sound like full of myself, but obviously I want to like win everything. I mean, mm. that's like a really ambitious full of goal. Mission, yeah. Ambitious goal. Obviously, like I can't just do that. I have to, I've got like steps up there. So for this season, um, I've already got a top six. So I, I want to be on the podium. At some yeah. Point you this will, season. you will get there. You will get yeah, there. That's 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 the next step goal. And then bigger goals are out there for the future. Good. Very nice. Third question. Winter or summer ski jumping? I've always been a summer jumper. Yeah? Yep. All I've right. always liked the summer jumping. I think it's something about it being consistent. The hill, the landing yeah. hill, especially having dealt with injuries. I like knowing every time when I come into land that it's going to be the same nice as the jump before forward. yeah yeah which i i, I kind of hate about myself because it's like a winter sport and everyone's always like oh winter winter and i'm like oh, where's the plastic <laughs> but yeah, i yeah. think i think this season will be different because i've never come into a winter season with this much confidence mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. knock on wood no injuries and not really any olympic pressure which has been there before mm -hmm. so hopefully i can get my confidence back on snow yeah that's great yeah somehow when when people also ask me like, yeah, but is it is it more difficult to jump in the summer? I'm like, no, it's actually easier because the track is always the same yeah. and the landing is always the same, yeah. and then you just break in the grass and that's it. Yeah. And the winter it can change from one jump to another. Yeah, which and that's makes it crazy. fun. Which also makes it fun. It makes it fun, but if you if you are not aware, it can yeah. can be quite tricky. Yeah, it's summer. Um, yeah. I like the sun too. Yeah. I like like feeling the sun on my on my skin and like being able to take your, your suit off in the winter. Yeah. Like my toes get so cold. I'm like, it's not worth it. <laughs> well, <I> think... <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself, I'm like, why am I in a winter sport as I'm sitting there like heating up by the fire yeah. after? Yeah. Okay. All right. Fourth and last question. What's your favorite hill? Favorite hill. I read this question before and I was like, I should have thought about this more, but um, Whistler. Whistler, yeah. Whistler, big hill. I've only jumped it once in competition and I don't think I was jumping good enough to like do it justice 
-hmm. but something about being like in Canada and seeing the view at the top of that jump is amazing. The mountains, the snow. Yeah. Yeah. I just have really, I have a really great memory there. I also really like uh, Kron, Slovenia. Kran, mm -hmm. or I don't know. I always say it like Kran, slightly wrong. Kran, yeah, I yeah. don't know how to pronounce also in Slovenian. So. I like that hill though. I like when hills are built into the ground. Mm -hmm. You feel like yeah. you're nice and... It's like oh, that, well, it's then like you should come to Engelberg. That's a, they that's always say every year that that's the biggest natural hill in... Yeah. Well, I, obviously, Planet size is bigger in, in Vickerson, but I think they are meaning like the biggest normal hill or yeah. like big hill and not I, ski jump, uh, ski flying hill. I just but, love when yeah. you, when it looks like a ski jump is supposed to be there. You yeah, know? it's nice, yeah. It's like, that was meant to be. Sometimes when I'm driving in the car and I like look out my window, I'm just like, they, there should be a ski jump there. This is perfect. Yeah, there's so many places. Sometimes it, I even think I a, see one. Yeah. I'm like, is that, no, I'm in Canada. That's not a ski jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been once in Whistler for the Canadian Championships. That was many years ago, but it was such a great trip there. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, I've been jumping, I think, on both hills, the small and the big hill. With a lot of snowing, I think we landed. It was powder, but yeah. it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we are already at the end of this of this um, podcast. Thank you very much for your time. Of course. Thanks for having me. And Talk. I wish you then the best for the for the rest of the season. You too. And thank you, <laughs> thank you, and have fun. And well, hopefully we'll see probably somewhere during the World Cup at some point. Yep. yep. Sounds good. Good. If nothing else, I guess world champs. Yeah. At the Everybody latest. will be there. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Kevin. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was like my vlog style. <laughs> <laughs>